Here I am contained, restless, a testament to the conviction of industry to carry the world, load on load, and still keep it waiting on the tide. Cranes kneel to the force of ocean channeling into the dock, its excavated clay lying beneath your feet, holding my sloshing doubt of whether a beach can be stabilised. Not so long back, it drifted away, to be stoppered by the two-brick-thick wall of the formal gardens. The cranes, having dug out the filth and stink of the past, now praise the sky in a barely-there angle, as distant as the sun-stars in water, as those exploding far into our future. What do I know? Before the dock clay cradled me, I was wind tears in the eyes of the captain of the Titanic who watched from the painted terrace for the fishermen to bring their catches home. I might hold the prophecy of certain movement, of waders, algal blooms, the skitter of wind that reveals and hides defences for storm time, beach time, war time, dock time all clocked by the eyes of the radar tower that twists in a resilient silence. Listening as you listen, as what I say laps and whispers, ruffling to snag in your memory, or twist away as the Mersey becomes the Irish Sea, becomes the Atlantic, becomes the tide a loaded tanker ploughs. See the wash of my shoreline, how the thinnest ripples leave their mark 